Colegio Santo Niño provides us a kind of education that every person should have. Colegio de Santo Niño is an environment that helps us to be closer together. Colegio de Santo Niño did not just equip me with quality education, but most importantly, it taught me the Agustinian way of life as well. Colegio de Santo Niño is a school where every child gets to experience an extraordinary learning experience. What I like in CSN is that I can also feel that I am at home. In this school, every child gets to know what they're really capable of. CSN also helps us develop our talents through implementing different kinds of exciting and interesting programs. We have clubs here in CSN that helps us develop friendship. Teachers and staff are caring towards the students. Colegio del Santo Niño has helped me a lot in the foundation of my character through the Agustinian values formation that I learned in my elementary days. We really noticed big improvements in, in our children. Their academic thrust to pursue excellence and continuous learning in whatever I will venture. The teachers, they have a very good relationship. They, know really, they really know how to deal with their kids, more so with the little ones. Colegio del Santo Niño will always be a part of all my achievements. This, I will forever be grateful to my alma mater, Colegio del Santo Niño. I can say, truly, CSN molds us to be a person who carries the values that this institution has done. We actually consider uh, Colegio del Santo Niño as our partners in, in parenting. Once our kids are in, in, in the school, we, we, we can guarantee that uh, they are safe. As parents, uh, we only want what's best for our kids. And part of that is, of course, quality education. One thing that we've noticed is the advancement of the um, curriculum that they offer to the, to the kids. Because based on experience, again, um, our kids are just on the lower level, which is in grade one and grade two. But um, we've noticed that they're dealing or they're, like, they're studying lessons that other schools, they're just teaching it on, on a higher level. So, which is a very good sign, knowing that we're just paying a very reasonable tuition fee. Here at Colegio del Santo Niño, we teachers are always updated on the current trends of education, such as the teaching strategies, methodologies, approaches, and techniques that we use in the classroom. Our instruction follows the teaching learning cycle with five phases based on mastery learning, where meeting differences of individual paces is inherent. In addition, the 10 point emphasis in daily lesson is carried out. These are systematically implemented by all teachers and well understood by the pupils. Having in mind the school's vision, mission, and goals, the teachers being the catalyst of learning are oftentimes sent to various seminar workshops. They undergo annual summer in-service trainings. They do articulations. They regularly revisit the curriculum and carry out the school's academic supervisory program. All these are done to continually enrich the school's quality of instruction as well as its standard. As an academic institution, it is part of our academic endeavors to emphasize what they call a sense of communion. That's why we, the friars and the would always see to it that we will be able to establish 
deeper connection with our pupils. Okay, with our four years in, in Colegio del Santo Niño, we really noticed big improvements in our children, no? especially how they socialize with fellow pupils. The people, the administration here, uh, staff, uh, the, the teachers, they have a very good relationship. They really know how to deal with their kids, more so with the little ones. Aside from that, the teachers are very uh, approachable, so every time we have concerns like how our kids are doing in, inside the class, we can always go to their teachers. Here at Colegio del Santo Niño, we are so blessed to have a closer connection with our beloved Senior Santo Niño. Every Friday, we let our children actively participate in the Novena Mass in honor to Senor Santo Niño. They also receive refreshments during their recollections. When I was in grade 6, the spirit of brotherhood compelled me to join the Knights of Santo Niño, an organization of acolytes serving the Basilica Minore del Santo Niño. This decision further nourished the values that was initially taught to me by CSN. I also thank Santo Niño for this because he also gave me the courage to stand out for anything. And during their classes, we let them pray the Augustinian prayer as well as the Holy Rosary because we believe these kind of trainings are important in the total development of the human person. This is our manner of focusing or implementing our Augustinian core values, namely Unitas stands for unity, Veritas stands for truth, and Caritas stands for charity. We are always in the top 10 ranked in the National Achievement Test among all the Cebu City private schools. And three years ago, we had our first honor student who topped the Filipino subject. And in the past two years, we maintained our rank as number five in the National Achievement Test, also among all the private schools in Cebu City. And this is for year 2012. We had the highest in math for the private schools in Cebu City. Another thing also, we have just finished with our Pasco accreditation visit that is Philippine Association of Accredited Schools, Colleges, and Universities. As for our achievement test, we use the, the APSA standardized test. That's Asian Psychological Services Assessment. Uh, when we had our first test, math had uh, progressing towards standards. English had profession and science also had uh, progressing towards standards. But after uh, two years, giving interventions, we are happy to note that the results now are all uh, meet standards or proficient. Music, Arts and PE, or MAPE, is one of the subjects being offered in the school curriculum from grades 3 to 6. Through it, the talents and potentials of the students are discovered and the skills are developed. It builds the student's self-confidence and camaraderie. Teamwork and friendship are developed, most especially if group activities are undertaken. Before the school year ends, the MAPI department holds singing and dance competitions, which are oftentimes looked forward by the students. Furthermore, one of the activities undertaken by the school is the Lectures and Psalmist Club, which enables the students to develop their confidence in facing the public through their exposure to Friday Mass novenas as lecturers and psalmists. In the field of sports, the school also encourages the students to join in volleyball, chess, tennis, scrabble, and some athletic games. For the past years, uh, Colegio Santo Niño has been winning in the volleyball games, especially for boys' volleyball games in elementary. In fact, our volleyball boys team, and sometimes even the girls team, are really considered as a name to reckon with when it comes to volleyball. Our varsity teams have always been winning in the City Olympics, Milo Olympics. There were instances wherein we sent some of our volleyball players to represent Region 7 of the Sibera in the Pamansang Palaro. In fact, uh, one of our students, Gwen Darrell, uh, 
guy who was chosen as the most valuable player in the Palarong Pambansa. Part of this labor, we also make deeper emphasis on uh, the love for other people in the sense of altruism. That's why uh, there are some areas of conversions that we have uh, implemented in our school. Uh, for example, the outreach program for the kids in Vinhel San Fernando, as well as in our mission area in San Fernando and San Pape. Aside from all these activities, we are We hope to inculcate in the hearts and minds of these young kids this sense of community.